So at the end of last week's video, I promised you I would show leaves. And well, ta-da, the trees have leaves now. <laughs> Please let me know what you think about the leaves in the comments below. Hello everyone and welcome to this devlog about my game dev journey with my game Treasured, a temple raiding, museum building, co-op puzzle game. In this video I will refactor code, restructure objects and clean up the project so I can expand on it later. This is the level scene. It is a mess since I have mostly used it for testing and prototyping stuff. For prototyping it is fine, but if I want to release the game, it needs to be a lot cleaner and easier to use. Currently, all of the generators are on this one object. This works fine, um, everything works, but it is a pain to add and edit stuff to it. When I started creating the tree generator, I actually changed a bit of code to allow for other objects to be added to the generation manager, instead of it being part of the generation manager. This also gave me a better perspective on how I want to add future generations to the level. So I changed it and it now looks like this. Multiple child objects hold information about different generators. And then the generation manager will look at the children and grab those generators. Very nice. This might be a very simple change, but it will really help with future development. Another thing that needs changing is the color system. Currently, the color names are hard-coded and the color indexes are supplied in a very tedious way. If I want to add this color from the texture to the game, I first need to add the color name in code. I then need to use some math to get the correct index. And then I can supply it if I actually use it in code. So I want to change the system by allowing the editor to add colors with different names. Then I also want to supply the color index by using the X and Y coordinates based on where it is on the texture. And I also want to see the color that I have selected. And that is exactly what I did. I now have a way more versatile system, which allows me to add different color names and add multiple colors to them. This way, I can control what random color is used. For the flowers, for example, I use these three colors. The generator will randomly pick one and use that. I can simply add, let's say, a blue color to the texture, define it in the editor, and it automatically is used. <laughs> That's great progress. The third thing I wanted to do was make the generators more modular. But as I have been working on this for a few days now, I have noticed it was a lot harder to pull off and I might even leave it like this. I wanted to separate the way in which spawn locations are generated, but they are integrated in the code and that does not allow for flexibility. If I want to change the way in which the ferns are generated, I can't. Well, I can, but I have to change the code for it. I cannot change something in the editor. Since I did not think about this beforehand, I have the spawn point generator integrated in the generator itself. I tried to change it, but since it is integrated so much, I can't, unfortunately. And again, I show you a fill, just like the fills I had last week. Why do I do that? Well, if you watch a lot of devlogs on YouTube, 
you see a lot of awesome progress with people's games. Uh, this is saturated though, because they might not show all of the things, especially the things that go wrong. And boy, things do go wrong sometimes. I don't want to only show the good parts of game dev, I also want to show you the things that go wrong. I want to give you a more realistic view. And yes, maybe things go wrong more often than I'd like to admit, but that's what game dev is. Of course, I will also show all of the good things with you guys, and hopefully that will come after this layout phase. Actually, after I fix some bugs that I really want to fix, I think I can start with the next phase of the roadmap. The gameplay features. How exciting. Join in next week for another devlog and see how I progress towards releasing the game on Steam. Also join today's game stream. I think I will be playing Minecraft, but let's find out together. That's it for this video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and subscribe to the channel for more game dev content. You can also follow me on Twitter or join the Discord server for even more updates. Links as always are in the description. Until next week, take care.